just start to shift your breath into breathing in a way that eases you, that softens your body into the core a little, that softens any chatter in your head. Breathe in a way that starts to build a little bit of warmth into your body. Welcome with that Ujjayi sound. Just noticing where in the body is perhaps holding some tension. Where can you soften? Noticing that just gentle moment of pausing between your inhale and your exhale. Just a soft retention of the breath without gripping or holding the breath. Just a soft moment of pause, a transition. See so if you can shift your breath to move into a deeper space of the torso. So you breathe right back into the lower belly, into the side of the ribs, the back of the ribs. Breathing in a way that now feels nurturing. So on your next inhale, just lift the hands towards the ceiling. Just give the wrists and the fingers a bit of a roll out. And then bring your elbows to the floor and just drop the arms back so you're in the cactus position with the arms, spreading the fingers open so fingernails are against the ground. And just turning your head gently from one side to the other side. And as you're turning the head, press the hands behind your head into the floor a little further. So maybe opening out around the chest and the shoulders. Breathe when it feels right to. And then bring the head back into the center. Just take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, plant the feet back to the floor, lift the knees back up to center. Just flatten your spine into the ground. Hug the hands around to the back of the head. Actually, sorry, grab your um, pillow and place that between inner thighs. So you can squash it up a little bit to squeeze into. So take the feet off the floor and just activate the toes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to just join my aunt with my phone just in case. I got two looking. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so cushion between the inner thighs and then interlace the hands together around the back of the head. So keep the head on the floor, just spread over the shoulder blades and hug the elbows towards the temples. Keep the knees stacked above hips, lower back or top rim of the sacrum, pressing into the Activate the toes. So take a deep breath in and then hold the breath, press the lower back down, and squeeze into the cushion, and then exhale, lift the head and shoulders up and belly goes down. Inhale, take the head back to the floor. Hold the breath, sacrum down, squeeze into cushion, exhale, lifting head and shoulders up, abdominals pull down. Inhale, head to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze. Pull sacrum down and exhale, lifting head and fingers up, abdominals pull down. Inhale, head to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze, pull sacrum down. Exhale, lifting head and shoulders up. Think curling the pubic bones towards the navel, just hold the tailbone off the floor. Inhale, head to the ground. Holding the breath, squeeze into cushion, pull sacrum down. Exhale, lifting the fingers. Curl the bones and navel. 
Inhale, head to floor. Take two more here, so hold the breath, squeeze, full sacrum down. Exhale, lifting head and shoulders up, abdominals pull down. Last one, inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze, sacrum down. Exhale, lift, up, abdominals pull down. Inhale, head to floor, straighten the feet up, so heels are lifted, flex the feet. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath, squeeze into cushion, pull sacrum down, exhale, lifting elbows up towards your toes, the armpits lifting to the neck, relax. Inhale, head to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze into cushion, pull sacrum down, then exhale, lifting. Inhale, head to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze, pull sacrum down, exhale, lifting head and shoulders up, curl the pubic bone to navel. Hold the head and shoulders lifted, just use one hand to remove the pillow. And then bend the knees again, coming into frog, cough frog. So just take the head back to the floor, but keep the elbows hugging around. Fan the toes, take a deep breath in. Now on your exhales, there's three parts to this. You're gonna drop the right knee open to so come into half frog, heel high the knee. Good, take a breath in where you are. The second exhale, lift the head and shoulders up into it, pull the belly down. Now stay where you are, we take a third breath. So inhale, exhale, curl the pubic bone towards the navel, turn to the tailbone away from the floor, reach higher through the elbows. Inhale, bring everything back to the start, Step the floor. So first exhale, just the left knee open to keep the head down. Stay where you are, breathe in. Exhale, lifting head and shoulders up, curling the tailbone up. Good, stay where you are, breathe in. Exhale, second time, pulling belly down, curling the pubic bone in. Inhale, come back to center. Head to floor. Exhale, just the right leg opens, keep the toes active. Pulling the sacrum down. So you are, breathe in. Exhale, lifting head and shoulders up, curl the tailbone. Stay where you are, take a deep breath in. And exhale again, so pull abdominals down, reach the elbows higher. Inhale, bring everything back to the start, head down. First exhale, opens left knee only, pull the belly down. Stay where you are, breathe in. Exhale, head and shoulders scoop up, keeping the neck relaxed, belly pulls down. Stay where you are, breathe in. Exhale again, reach the elbows high, curl the hip bones to navel. Inhale, bring everything back to the center. And coming into star spiral pulse. So exhale, just to lift the head and shoulders up, keep the belly pulling down. So take a breath in where you are. As you exhale, reach the right heel towards the ceiling, pull abdominals downwards. As you inhale, turn the thigh inwards. Three part exhale to push the heel up for one, two, three. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, left heel reaches up, abdominals pull down, keep the shoulder blades lifting. Turn the thigh inwards, breathe in. Exhale, pushing up for three, two, one. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, right heel up, up the walls pull down, in shoulder base lifted. Inhale, rotate both thighs towards each other so the feet open and the knees come towards each other. Good. Exhale, pushing up the right heel for three, two, one. Inhale, left thing back center. Exhale, left heel up, up the walls down. Inhale, rotate legs inwards and exhale, push the heel up for three, two, one. Inhale to bend and bring the feet to the floor, head to the ground. Whew, triple whammy. Nice. We need to rock side to side. Mm. So to stretch out your abdominals a little bit, take a feet out as wide as the left, and then drop both knees down towards the right. So moving in towards the cold stretch, the left hand is going to slightly feel around behind you a little bit. Good. So you use this thigh lengthening to also come into the abdominals as well. So he reaches forwards and down. Feel the lengthening across the left side of the torso. Reach the arms back behind you. Take a couple of deep breaths. Exhale. 
Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the knees back to the center gently. And then dropping them over to the other side when you're ready. Good. Keep the left knee nice and open. Nice deep breaths. Last deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the knees back up to the center. Then bring the legs in towards you. Take a rock and roll through to seated. And then we're going to have the right heel close in towards you, left leg out to the side. So bring your left hand, back of the hand to the floor on the inside of that leg. That's it. And your right hand then lifts up to the ceiling, take a full breath in. As you exhale, lean across towards your left, so leaning in towards the leg. Good. Lengthening over with that right hand, keep the shoulder wrapped. Let's take one more deep breath in where you are. And the full exhale. Roll yourself slightly forward as you bring yourself back up to center. Keep the left arm kind of where it is. The right hand is now going to wrap behind you to grab hold of the inner hip, or inner thigh, or your leggings, wherever you can kind of reach to. Keep the back of the hand, left hand to the floor. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let your head drop over towards the left shoulder. So opening right side of neck. And again, you can bring in some of that side stretch into it again. It feels good. Just let yourself lean in towards the left and make the, the head feel really heavy, placing it wherever it feels good. Give some slight activation through the left foot. Just feeling the breath come into the body. Using the exhales to soften. Right, two more deep breaths. And gently unravel the back hand, bring the chin towards the chest as you gently bring yourself back to the center. Roll the shoulders down your back and just change the legs over. Okay, so coming into side stretch first, so just back of the right hand to the floor, and left hand lifts up, take a breath in, and exhale, leaning over to the right. So it's feeling the ribs open. And wrap the top shoulder. On your next exhale, gently roll yourself forward slightly and bring yourself back up straight and continue that left arm to wrap around behind you so the fingers grab on the leggings and crease the hip. Just drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Just start dropping yourself into that right side again. Relax the jaw. Deepen the breath. Taking about two more breaths. Slowly start to unravel the left arm and the chin comes towards your chest and up. And roll yourself back up, like roll the shoulder down. Nice. Come over into all fours. Okay. 
And then just start rolling your feet, cat power rolls through the spine. So bring yourself back to a more neutral feeling. Take your right foot up and back. Just keep the knee bent. It's just going to move with the posture of the spine. So breathing in, still so straight to lift. And exhale, bringing the knee to move. Breath in the foot. Inhale again to lift and arch. And exhale, curling under. Two more. Exhaling. Inhale, exhale. So take the legs back up to lift again, holding there. Keep the right palm on the floor. So the left hand forwards, reaching it over and back to grab the inner arch of the foot and pressing the foot into the hand. So rather than coming deeper into a back bend, trying to pull the shoulder back for more of a chest opener. Just turning your head slightly towards your right shoulder so you're looking away from the stretch. Take a really deep breath. Okay, so releasing gently your left hand back to the floor. Bring the right knee around to the side of you and take the foot to the ground out to the side. Yeah, a little bit of shuffling, that's it. Then take your hands forward to like a one-legged puppy pose, chest sinking in towards the ground. Tailbone lifting, lovely. Take a really deep breath into side ribs. And slowly bring yourself back up again and send that right leg back behind you and back into all fours. So go with this cat cage with the left leg and moving with the spikes so with the inhale lifting left toes. And exhale, sitting on back. Inhale to lift and exhale under. Inhale and exhale. Last round. So take the leg back up and open again. So the right hand forwards and over to grab in our arch of the foot. So again, use the foot to open the shoulder rather than deepen the integral. Love spine. Turn the gaze towards your left shoulder. Just feel the breath moving to the pec space. And then gently release the right hand back to the floor. Take the left knee around to the side. And keep the leg out. Sit again, hands forwards, you drop into that extended puppy pose. Good, take a deep breath into side ribs. Then you bring yourself back into all fours, slide the leg back. Just realize my dark leggings, if you can't see my. That's very well. You yeah, never know if you can't see something. Um, okay, so coming into Tarot Dog, so the palms open, drop elbows towards the floor and wrap them in. Rounding through thoracic, your upper spine, then yeah, let the neck relax into it first. So even you should start to feel the serratus so your shoulder blades connect into your ribs without you even lifting the knees. The weight slightly forwards, really scooping that wrapping feeling, then lift the armpits up. Good, and then drop the toe, take a huge breath in, and use the exhale to hover knees, so arms don't move. Good, even more rounding through your upper spine. Even more. Good. Shift your shoulders towards your wrists slightly. Keep the elbows in towards each other. Take two more breaths, rounding the spine. And then straightening up into your full down. 
keep that wrapping of the shoulder blades. Turn the armpits towards your cheeks. Yeah. Take three breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale. So move yourself forward towards a plank position, shoulders coming over wrists, keeping that wrap between the shoulder blades because that's domed. You know, we decorated my radiator, so hopefully you can see. <laughs> and then just using your toes, shift the shoulders forwards and backwards. Good. And then come back into your downward facing dog again, lifting up. Step the feet in a little bit closer towards you. And bringing then your, uh, so your right hand to your left ankle as low down as you can reach. So just kind of just twist. Keep the left heel trying to press into the floor so that it pulls you into the rotation. Gaze coming underneath your left armpit. Lovely. Keep the left shoulder feeling wrapped. So you're still supporting your left shoulder. Take a deep breath. And then gently replacing right palm, taking the left hand across towards right ankle, drawing yourself around into twists. Keep pressing the right heel towards the floor so you can pull into it. Keeping the right shoulder wrapped. And turn the armpit towards the face. Good. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bring the hand back to the floor. Switching sides again. So right hand across to the left ankle. Now, if you're feeling steady too, just see if you can take the right foot, maybe just for a breath or two, to hover away from the floor. It's a hard balance. <laughs> yeah, that's good, darling. <laughs> so left hand to right ankle, find the rotation first, right shoulder, feeling plugged in and wrapped. Good. And then hovering the left foot away from the floor. Really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Come forward into your plank position. <laughs> Strong through shoulders. So take the feet out a little bit wider. The left palm wide and planted into the floor. Send the right hand down the side of the body. Get the hips in line with your plank. Take a breath in, and on exhale, we're going to lift the hips up to downward dog. You can now right this side. Good. Come forward to plank, breathing in. Exhale to downward dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale to downward dog. Plant the right palm to the floor, come back into plank. When you're ready, take the left hand off, so nice and strong to your right shoulder. Take a breath in. Exhale to down dog, pushing through the right palm. Inhale back to plank. Exhale down with dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale down with dog. Replace the left palm to the floor. Come back forward into plank position. Set the feet back into assistance. Take a breath in. Half to primer, knees and chest to the ground. Sliding forwards and up to cobra, slide the shoulders back. Soften the body all the way down to the floor as you exhale. Taking that cobra again, inhale, gently floating. Exhale, back into the ground. Press this up to all fours, breathing in. Tuck the toes and come into your downward dog. So walking the feet up to the top of the mat, come into forward fold. So just hanging on to elbows or feet wherever you want to be, just dangling. Good. 
and slowly begin to draw yourself up to standing. Nice. Roll the shoulders down your back. Take an inhale as your arm lift. Move to sun salutations. Exhale, coming into forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. You start with the left leg stepping back. Place the knee to the floor. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale to Chaturanga, half or tall. Inhale, up to And back into downward dog. Take a breath. Lifting right foot high, take a breath in. Exhale, step through, between the hands. Place back knee to the floor again. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, come into forward fold at the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold into legs, right leg back. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Holding one breath, inhale. Exhale. Left foot lifting, breathe in. Exhale, step through. Back knee lowers. Inhale, arms fit. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. To inhale, to standing. And exhale through to your heart center with the hands. Take a second round, exactly the same. So inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift. The left leg back, knee to the floor. Inhale, arms float. Exhale, chakranga. Inhale, heart lift. Exhale, down. One breath, pause. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg floats up, breathing in. Exhale, step through, knee to the ground. Inhale, arms float. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold in, right leg back, knee to the ground. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, chakranga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down dog. Inhale. Wrap your shoulders. <laughs> Lift the left leg high, inhale. Exhale, step through. Knee to floor, inhale, arms to lift. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold in. Inhale to rise, arms lifting. And hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Left leg back. Place the knee to the floor. Bring the arms to the ceiling, pausing there. Bring the back of your left hand to the outside of front thigh. Take a breath in. Grow taller through your right arm. As you exhale, circle the arm back behind you. So you telescope the ribs around the spine. Keep the back palm facing upwards so you can keep the back shoulder blades sliding down. So keep the back shoulder wrapping. Head is turned, but keeping neck soft. One more breath. Inhale, lift the arms up to the ceiling. You're going to stay here. Bring the left elbow to your right thigh. Left hand as a fist. Wrap the right one on top. So we stay straight. Tuck the toes at the back. Take a deep breath in. And exhale to lift that back knee. Good. Root down that big toe joint at the front. Good. Deepen your breath. Keep the knee lifted, just unravel your shoulders and hands lift to the ceiling. Take a breath in. Exhale, 
exhale, chaturanga. Right leg stays floating in the middle. Good. Inhale to the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Take two breaths, inhale. Exhale, wrap the shoulders. Inhale, two. Exhale. Lift the right leg up, take a breath in. Exhale, step through to between the hands. Just rock the weight backwards through the back of the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, soften in, right leg back, knee to the floor. Inhale, lift the arms up. And then back of your right hand, find the outside of the left thigh. Take a breath in to grow tall. And exhale to circle the arm back. Your left palm stays facing ceiling. So we can keep that shoulder blade sliding down. Turning the head, keeping the neck soft. Breathing fully into the torso. That full intra-abdominal pressure from your breath. So you use the abdominals to guide your ribs further around. Good. On your next inhale, lift the arms back up high. Palms together, bring the right elbow to left thigh. And then your right hand into fist and left palm wraps on top. Good. Tuck the toes at the back, take a breath in. Exhale, lift the back knee. Really push into that back heel and pressing into the front big toe joint. Good. Feel the breath. Soften your neck. On your next inhale, unravel the arms, if you're not high, take a deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, left foot through to me. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, down with the book. Take a deep breath. Lift that thigh onto your tiptoes, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the knees to the floor, coming into all fours. Left hand is going to up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, thread underneath the right arm to drop into the thread the needle. Good. Then place your right hand into the left hand so that it's laced. Both arms straight. That's it. Then imagine you're trying to push the hands away from you. So you feel the top shoulder lift up away from the hands. Well, open around the left ribs and try and breathe into that space if you work. If your right leg feels light, then send it off the floor. Lovely. And just soften where you can to put a strong balance in you. Take another breath. Slowly bring the right toes down, knee to the floor. Unravel the hands, take your time to come out of it. And drop through to puppy, so both hands out in front, chest, thank you. And slide the palms back into all fours. Right hand, so left hand is rooted, right hand lifts, take it back in. And exhale into the twist. So like interlace left hand into right. Press the hands away from you so shoulders stack, soften your neck. And if your left leg feels light, send it away. A little bit higher with the foot. Nice, good. Take a breath. Take a breath moving to your ribs. Holding for another breath. Slowly bring the toes to the floor, the knee to the ground, and unravel the hands back into all fours. Again, drop into puppy. A bit more space coming through. Nice. Take one more breath from where you are. Nice. 
and gently bring yourself back into all fours. Drop the elbows to the ground and place the fingers together. Tuck the toes and lift the hips up. Good, just rocking the head forward into palms and back out again. Good, inhale forwards. Exhaling back. Take eight more, inhale.
In front of the right toes, left arm lifting up, just a little bit of rotation. So keep your right arm pressing into the knee, so with the right hand further round if you can. Good. Relax the neck. If you want to, wrap the left arm around behind you. So the right hand is going to wrap around the shin. Maybe just finding clothes, maybe clasping the hands wherever they reach is good. The head hanging heavy towards your right shoulder. Deepen the breath. Gently roll the chin towards the chest, release the arms, switching sides to the left hand in front of the left toes, right hand lifting. Good. Wrapping the arms behind you with the right one, behind you with the left one. Maybe they clasp, maybe you wrap those. Noticing differences one side to the other. Let your left ear drop to the left shoulder. Relax the jaw, deepen your breath. And gently unravel the arms, bring the hands to the floor. Taking crow, lift the hips up. Keep the shoulders really wrapping around. You stay forward to your upper back to hover the feet. Press your arms and your legs together. Good, hold it, breathe. That's good. Got it. Okay, so thank you. this time round the back even more. So come even more this way. And then nudge the gaze forwards. Spread the palms really open and turn the hands out just very slightly. Try that. Bring the knees further rather than in towards your shoulders. Bring them more towards the outer arms onto your triceps. And then before you even lift the feet, just press them together so you feel that resistance to your inner thighs switch on. Yeah, and keep hold of that lift the hips, keep pressing inner thighs and arms together. Look forwards a little. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so then turning, you can turn on ways if you like, or wherever you like it. Press side, or twist to start with. So bring it uh, just hands to heart center. Let's roll the shoulders down, find a little toe balance. Good. So you're going to bring your, swing the knees towards the right and your hands down to the left. Good. Try and connect the right tricep against the outer thigh. Good. Just leaning into the hands without even thinking about lifting the hips at the moment. Just let the weight drop into the hands a little. So you want to twist. Will the exhale still pull belly in towards the spine? So you're still using the abdominals to rotate the hips. On an inhale, release the pressure, come through the centers, walk the hands across towards the right, knees to the left. Connecting the left tricep to as the thigh. And then just lean into the hands a little. Feel the twist, feel the ribs, feel the breath. And then come back through the center. You're going to take it across to the other side. So you can either just repeat that twist again if that feels good for your back or enough for your back. And you want to play around with lifting and send the hips up towards the ceiling. You can be on one elbow or two elbows. So you can swing your bum in towards the back elbow if you want to. Yeah, nice. Good. <laughs> I don't understand how I find that easier than normal crow. 
Um, because you've got a little more shelf on your arm. Yeah. It's a little bit more like you are supported on something. Yeah. And also that that's why you're strong. That's great. <laughs> I feel like I'm not going to like smash my nose as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because here it's quite, it's quite open. You're quite open. Yeah. Smash. Whereas and I think because it's a little bit more like your feet can, it's more of a counterbalance to the internet. Yeah, because I'm really like paranoid about my nose. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> oh, well, why don't we, okay, do this side, this one. So do this on the opposite side, yeah. Yeah, I'm watching you know, have my iPad. Good. I'm going to do it one more time. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you know this, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Good. Okay, so grab your pillow. Do you have any more? Yeah. Okay, grab a load of pillows and put them long ways. Yeah. Grab a couple more if you like. Yeah. Now all I can see is pillows, so you can tell me you've done it and maybe you can <laughs> so taking the crow again and just see if that helps you feel a little bit more secure. So hands around sort of the base of the pillow probably feel feel good. You'll know. <laughs> Put those further forward so you know your head is going to land on them like this. Can you see? I, I think I've just, it is a complete fear thing because I'm fine coming straight up. <laughs> it's, so it literally, it's literally a fear thing. Try to take it away. We'll take one pillow away. Yeah. I believe I have one left. So I'm just going to have a pillow everywhere I go now. Get rid of that one. <laughs> oh no! Okay, yeah, you know you can even fall, so try it again. <laughs> the floor will catch you, it's not going to help you from that far away. Good. What you could do is also try it with without the pillow and letting yourself come down. You're here, just let your head fall. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're best right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's do um, just a pause on the wrist for a moment. Let's take dolphin up the wall. Let's make. Can you see this? Turn my name. So you're coming leg distance away from the wall. So you know roughly where your forearms need to be. It's kind of mid forearm weight. Feet no higher than your bum. And then push the wall away. It feels like you're closer than you need to be when you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> now your, your shoulders are right there. That's good. My hips directly over your shoulders. Now pull the ribs in. Take a deep breath out. Good. Then straighten the arch of your lower spine, pressing into elbows. So look, watch me actually. What? Just have a moment to rest. So that was really. That's actually that was really a lot stronger than the other day even. So the other day we were more in um, like this shape. 
distances are too far away and too much arch here. Yeah. So now you're much closer that the hips can come over the shoulders, which is great. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Yeah. So now try and take a deep exhale. Okay, almost trying to touch your tailbone a little bit. Yeah. That's a okay. <laughs> Just to kind of pull it. <laughs> yeah. Turn your back. Breathe. Great. That's great. Yeah. Feel that like really pulling yeah, in the core. Yeah, because you're super bendy in your lower back. So your yeah. back wants to go into that shape. So it's all about rather than trying to think about your back doing the work, think about pulling the ribs in. Yeah. Like if you cough, <coughs> those those are the muscles that's going to hold you. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's come back into a side curve and see if we can split the legs just to finish one side on each. So we can take a side curve, thinking top leg lifting away, straighten if we can. Going top leg going back, front leg forwards. Back leg back, back forward, right? Okay. Well, you'll you see the figure out. You do it one way, I'll fall up and run. So you'll be able to do it. Underneath leg forwards, top leg back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 like I'm just gonna do this. Good. It throws your weight differently, so it's much harder now to use a lot more strength. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Love it. Come, to your, um, come onto your back, knees into your chest. So you will rock side to side. Okay, well, actually, we're going to finish with an inversion. So, I was going to do shoulder stands, stretch out your spine. If you want to do headstand or anything different, yep, shoulder stands good. Yeah, yep. Take yeah. a breath, let the breath get settled a little bit. Good. Okay, I'm coming in when you're ready. Send the toes up. Try and use the core like that star spiral pulse where we lift your tailbone up. Just use that to initiate it. Good. Keeping the neck nice and long and straight. Tuck the shoulder blades under a little, keeping the neck nice and long. Activate the glutes. Okay, six more breaths if you can. For one, two, three, four. Five, six. The feet tip back behind you and slowly roll through the spine. Just hug the knees in towards your chest and your ground. Take a gentle hop side to side. And let the arms open out to the sides. Just drop legs over to one side into twist. Just soft, easy twist. And when it feels good to you, changing sides. And don't bring yourself through to center. It's finding any variation of a shavasana. You can be lying down as you started, or flat or seated if you want to. 
Just a moment of resting. Let's take a deep breath. Using your inhales to breathe in a sense of trust. Exhales to really use that sense of letting go. In with the new, out with the old. It's allowing your body to move through transitions with the transitions of your life in the phase that you're in at the moment. Just knowing like your practice that it's all in motion. The ebbs and flow of your breath. Just keeping your mind with that. And bring back that sense of your breath feeding nurture to yourself. Even in transitions of your practice or transitions of your life, your body goes with you. And breathe to nurture it and honor it. Just place your palm, either hand, onto your heart center and the other hand above that one. Feel your heartbeat. Feel your breath move there. Let's breathe in a sense of love and nourishment to yourself, to that heart space, to carry with you through this transition. And know that you totally Got this. <laughs> Got it. And bring your head to your hands. Thank you, my darling. Namaste. Thank you so much, my lovely. Namaste oh. and happy moving day. Yay! <laughs> that was just perfect. Yes.